You guys have been asking me to put together an office safe fragrances video and I guess maybe because people are going back to the office finally. Have you gone back to the office yet? Are you working with uh, a lot of people? Uh, perhaps they are not into fragrances and things like that. So today in this video, I've got 13 minimalist office safe fragrances for you guys. Fragrances that I enjoy, fragrances that are skin scents, fragrances that people have to get close to you to smell you, all of that good stuff. So if you wanna find out what they are, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in, this is Sebastian. Yes, today I'm talking about office safe fragrances. You guys have been asking me to do an updated video and I've got 13 fragrances here in this particular video. And I enjoy these fragrances sometimes. I don't go to an office, so I will never need these for that particular purpose. But sometimes if I'm burnt out on fragrances, I do still like to smell a little like something. So I wear these fragrances for that particular reason. The other cool thing about these fragrances are they are also great for usage as primers or boosters. Anyway, I'll let you know what they are before I do. If this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So yeah, these are minimalist. So they're skin scents. People have to get really, really close to you to smell you. They're not going to offend anyone at the office because we know there's some people out there that don't like fragrance. And I love to wear strong fragrances. If I'm ever, ever in the situation of that I have to wear fragrances for other people, these are what I pull for. So let's go ahead and get started with the first fragrance. Juliet has a guns, not a perfume. I'm going with the super dose version. The not a perfume original is very, very minimalist and people say they never smell it. Here you can smell it. So if you want something even more ultra minimalist, go with the original, but this one you can smell. It's basically ambroxan. It is very ambery, woody, and a little musk, not a little uh, musky for sure, but a little aquatic thrown in as well. So Juliet has a guns, not a perfume, super dose, ultra, ultra. Uh, minimalist uh, experience, especially if you go to the original, not a perfume. Next, going to the house of Akakapa, it's Musio Bianco, this one right here. Here we have a very minimalist experience with a little substance to it as well. It's basically white musk, which is perfect to wear at the office. This one also has some aldehyde, so it's fizzy, sparkly, some aromatics of lavender, juniper berries, with a little bit of citrusy lemon and some spice as well. Perfect fragrance. This one is not not uber minimalist, but still it's a very, very, it's close to the skin. So it sits close. I would call this a skin scent. Uh, you might experience some project projection when you first spray it, but eventually it's all skin scent. And I think it's perfect for the office. So Aka Kappa, Musio Bianco. This is not a ranked list, by the way. I did not mention at the beginning of the video. Moving on to Joe Malone, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. A great fragrance, very minimalist, very musky, a little aquatic and watery, some aromatics and saltiness thrown in as well. It basically features ambret seeds, sea salt, and sage. Ambret seeds are musky, sea salt adds a kind of aquatic saltiness, and then the sage, of course, adds this aromatic uh, herbal touch to the fragrance. A great fragrance, I think, totally worth it, and I think you can totally get away with wearing this at the office. So Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone, a great fragrance that's perfect perfect for office wear. Next up at number 10, this is What We Do A Secret Mono Scent G. So this particular fragrance, this is actually kind of like an offspring brand from a Lab on Fire and they're using the name What We Do A Secret and of course a Lab on Fire has that fragrance What We Do In Paris Is Secret. So this is kind of a very very musky cozy skin scent using the synthetic note of galaxolide. So this one actually has this kind of fuzzy muskiness, very very soft and cozy a little sweet but it's synthetic but it's also a great skin scent and I find it to be very very sexy as well but someone that needs to smell you will have to get really really close to you to smell what you're wearing and it's a super super sexy fragrance very cozy very minimalist and definitely musky so what we do is secret mono scent G at number 10 again this is an unranked video next going to the house of eccentric molecules this is molecule one for that woody experience utilizing the note of ISOE Super. A lot of people say they're anosmic to this, they can't smell it. Give it some time, your nose will open up to smelling it and you'll start smelling that kind of wonderful cedar slash sandalwood combo. It's super minimalist, it's perfect for an office and I think it smells great and it's also very, very sexy. This is Eccentric Molecules Molecule 1. 
Uh, we've got two more molecule fragrances. Next is molecule two from Eccentric Molecules. This one focuses on the Ambroxan sort of in the ballpark of uh, this one, not a perfume. And this one, very minimalist. It's more similar to not a perfume in the original white bottle. The super dose definitely has a smell. And this is, once again, it's amber, woods, aquatic touches and muskiness all thrown in. Uh, very, very popular uh, for people that like very, very minimalist fragrances. And again, as I said, these are perfect also to prime your fragrances, to boost them up, to make them last longer. So you would spray all of these fragrances down, let them dry and then spray the fragrance that you really want to wear on top of it. So Eccentric Molecules Molecule 2, a great uh, fragrance that's very, very minimalist and office safe. Moving on to number 7, which is Eccentric Molecules M Molecule 4. And this particular fragrance is that creamy sandalwood experience with that synthetic note of javanol. If you like a kind of a, a very, very silky, smooth, creamy, milky sandalwood experience, but more closer to the skin, something that's more intimate, uh, closer skin scent and very very minimalist I would go with something like this the eccentric molecules molecule 4 this one since it's also very very creamy has milkiness about it also is very very cozy and uh, relaxing so molecule 4 from eccentric molecules is number 7 okay next up at uh, number 6 it's another 13 from the house of uh, Le Labo I've got a, a couple of uh, Le Labo fragrances but the second one is uh, after the outro so stick around for that particular fragrance uh, but you know another 13 is super sexy and also very very um iso-e super uh kind of muskiness as well. I really like this, the way it smells and also has, um, it, even though it's very, very close to the skin, there is a little bit of a trail left and that's kind of what I've smelled and I feel like it's uh, very, very sexy from what I remember smelling every time I wear it, if I've ever left a trail from my fragrance. But it's ISOE Super, it's Ambergris, Musk Ambrette, Amyl Salicylate, and also Pear. So there's a light fruitiness, there's definitely lots of muskiness, the Ambrette and the Musk together with the Ambergris and ISOE super a top-notch release so Le Labo another 13 a wonderful fragrance next going to the house of DS and Durga it's I don't know what once again really really super sexy really really musky with some freshness thrown in it's a perfect fragrance to wear on its own uh, it's minimalist it's close to your skin it's an intimate fragrance people have to get close to you to smell you but man it smells amazing this one features notes of isoe super bergamot vetiver acetate ambrox and civitone yes civitone is a synthetic civet smell and in here it's perfection because it's a tiny amount and it works perfectly in this mix so ds and Durga's I don't know what uh, is perfect perfect minimalist uh, office safe fragrance next going to the house of Jeroboam it's Origino here we go into a little aromatic and woody direction with this particular fragrance a little dusty woods and some musk thrown in and this one features juniper berries sandalwood musk some spices of nutmeg citruses of bergamot and some additional pink pepper as spice as well so this can have much more substance than some of the other fragrances here this one I think you should control your sprays but I feel like it's minimalist enough and it's actually also the original musk in the collection of uh, Jeroboam fragrances so it's used as a booster primer for those fragrances so I think you can get away with this one but it is more complex with some of the other fragrances that I'm talking about Jeroboam Origino at number four this next fragrance is so good guys it's from the house of commodity it's rain this one right here it's very very watery and I feel like watery fragrances are also perfect as office safe fragrances but this is a watery floral experience with lotus flower, lemon verbena, freesia, jasmine, bergamot, musk, vetiver, and wood. So there's a little bit of a complexity with this one with multiple notes thrown in. Definitely musky, definitely very, very clean, and also a skin scent to me. So it's close to the skin, and I feel like it's perfect to wear for office settings. And it is definitely minimalist, but still a little more complex than some of the other fragrances. And, uh, you know, control your sprays and see how it goes. One day wear two sprays and see if it's too much or too little and then you can adjust after that but either way commodity rain is a great great fragrance and then we've got one more commodity fragrance it's paper minus this time 
great great fragrance really really great and very very minimalist kind of in that same ballpark as molecule one uh, maybe even the ds and durga another 13 so it's isoe super with some sweet ambery touches thrown in but very very minimalist very very skin scent sits close to the skin the minus fragrances in this collection are definitely recommended for me because they're perfect for office because they don't attract attention they don't have the big cloud and people have to get close to you to recognize your smell so if you're looking for office safe fragrances and you want some unique smells, definitely go to the fragrances of Commodity in their new Scent Space collection of fragrances and always look for the minus that's here in the white bottles. But a great fragrance, very close to the skin, very minimalist. Paper has the kind of woody, ambery touches that I like uh, in uh, some of these minimalist fragrances. So Commodity Paper Minus. Uh, next fragrance, going to the house of obvious parfums. This is Un Bois. Un Bois. So this one, again, similar to the I don't know what Molecule One, the last fragrance from Commodity. It's kind of that minimalist woody, ambery experience with some spices thrown in. This particular one has a lot of muskiness as well, and I find it to be super, super sexy. It's got vetiver, ambroxan, bergamot, black pepper, cedar, papyrus, gurgeon, balsam. The notes seem like it's going to be very, very complex. It's not. It's definitely on the minimalist side, but uh, with a little more substance and uh, some of the other minimalist fragrances but really, really wonderful smelling, and I think it's a perfect minimalist office safe fragrance. Obvious Parfums Un Bois. And that's the last fragrance for you guys. Remember, I said this is not a rank list. I just wanted to give you guys some options, the 13 different minimalist office safe uh, fragrance options. Let me know what you think about these fragrances. Have you tried them? Do you enjoy them? Do you like them? Or maybe you hate them, and maybe you hate office safe fragrances. You want your showstoppers. You want the big fragrances. You want to make a statement with your fragrances and you don't care what kind of fragrances you wear to the office because maybe you work all, all by yourself or with people you know who don't give a crap about what your smell is like. That's my experience, that's my situation. Maybe some of you are like that too, but those of you or those of us that need the minimalist office safe fragrances, these are going to be perfect uh, for that situation. Either way, thanks so much for watching today. Do let me know of any other minimalist office safe fragrances that you have, that you enjoy. Put a comment down so I can find out. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please do list below. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye. Okay, a few bonus fragrances. First off, it's Bulgari's Te Blanc, which I recently featured in a tea fragrances video. This to me is very minimalist, but still kind of sweet and aromatic and spicy at the same time. But that coziness here with the tea note, I quite like. It's kind of ethereal. It's airy. It's a, you know, a little floral, a little musky and citrusy, but definitely that cozy tea experience. So this is Bulgari's Te Blanc. First bonus option. Next up, a, another bonus option, but this time maybe with a little substance to it. It's Comme des Garçons Serpentine, and this time we're going into a kind of a green direction. We've got a green experience, but a bit vegetal, a little succulent, kind of like imagine, you know, cutting through aloe and you see that kind of gelatinous touch in there. This is very, very green experience. It features notes of grass, asphalt, aldehydes, green leaves, juniper, galbanum, iris, and musk. So great, great fragrance. Stay tuned for a Comme des Garçons Top 20 fragrances video and we've got this particular fragrance featured in it. So this is Serpentine from the house of Comme des Garçons. And then last but not least, the second Le Labo fragrance, I'm adding it as a bonus fragrance because it is definitely very, very skin scenty, but musky at the same time. Te Matcha 26, which features vetiver, figs, cedar, bitter orange, matcha tea, and musk. It's definitely a very, very a musky experience, but definitely has some light fruitiness, green touches, some woods, and of course, earthy grassiness from a vetiver. There's definitely the citrusy touches in here. You know, it smells great. I just wish it was a little more potent, but because it's not, it makes for a great office safe minimalist fragrance so te matcha 26 my third bonus fragrance for you guys thanks so much for watching today and stay tuned for more videos very soon have a good one bye bye